very good day. My name is Peter and I work for Future Water. In the series of Mastering WEEP, I would like to present with you entering data into WEEP. And I would like to start with thanking the American office of Stockholm Environment Institute and especially Jack Sieber for providing this wonderful software tool called WEEP. Material presented in this tutorial can also be found in the various WEEP manuals. Our starting point for this tutorial is the uh, WEEP tutorial and probably if you open you see something similar as here on this screen. If you don't see, do remember that you can go to area and open a certain area and open tutorial. And if you have open tutorial and still it's not the same, then you've got also this option which is revert to version and go to starting point for WEEP in one hour. I also would like to remind you that in this field we see all the background material and here we see the actual elements that are used by the model. So for the moment I will just disable the background layers and the simple we are going to start for entering data is very simple. There's one main river which is flowing this direction. There is a big city which is getting its water from here and if there's any drainage it will go back into the river. And for the agricultural irrigation demand side there is the same. There is water coming from the river here and there might be return flow back into the river. So let's enable again the back background layers because that looks a little bit better. Now how to enter data into um, WEEP? There are two options and in fact they are exactly the same. You can go here to the left where you've got this data entry view. Probably if you are a little bit more advanced you start with this one. At the beginning it might be interesting to go to an element, whether it's the river or the big city or the agriculture site and press your right mouse button. So I will press my right mouse button, main river, I can say edit data and for this specific case we are interested in the head flow to define the head flow of this main river. And as you notice by pressing this right mouse button we are also in this other um, data entry so again we can go back to schematic we can right mouse click on the river but we can also put data into just clicking here so it looks like we've got a little bit complex um, structure tree structure here where which will be discussed later but the most important one is we've got demand sites if we plus if we click this plus sign, you will see the agricultural demand side and the big city. And we are now in supply and resources river and we've got one river which is called the main river. And in this main river we can select all kinds of options, inflows and outflows, water quality, costs, if you want to calculate some financial parameters. For the moment we are going to determine the head flow how much water is flowing into the head of this particular river. And in uh, WEEP you can just put in a value here, for example the main river in cubic meter per second. We can define for example that there is a flow of 100 cubic meter per second. And the interesting thing of WEEP is you see it directly here in your graph and you can quickly check whether there are any errors. However, in real reality, it will be very unlikely that every month there will be the same of water flowing into the river. And therefore, WEEP has another particular option. And this is something you really should remember. There is this little, little drop down uh, icon. Very, very often you forgot about it. But if you press it, you've got a lot of powerful options. So please do remember this little icon. And for this particular case, we are going to put some monthly time series. And for this case, we assume that we've got some measurements on average flows in various months. And I will just put them in here. And when we are done, we just press finish. And here we see also the updated pattern. 
Now let's enter some demand side data for the big city. Again, there are two options. We can go to demand sites and here def click on the big city. But just for the last time, I will switch to schematic, right mouse, click, edit data, and we say the annual activity level. And as you notice, we are exactly at the same screen here. We are in the data entry form. Now, probably in the beginning, you are a little bit overwhelmed with all the options where you can put data. But for the moment, let's focus on the water use. And we've got something which is called annual activity level. And now the flexibility of WEEP really becomes clear because if you go to unit, you see a lot of units how to enter your data. For the moment, we assume that we know how many people are living in the city. So we type people and OK. And let's assume that there are 800,000 people living in this city. Second, it's of course important to know how much each person on, on average uses. So therefore we go to annual water use rate. And here we get automatically cubic meter per second. And let's assume that people need uh, about 300 cubic meter per person per year. So we go to annual water use rate and we put in 300 cubic meter per second. Now, of course, not all the water which is actually uh, withdrawal to the people is not, go is not being consumed. And therefore we go to the consumption rate and we assume that about 15% of the water will be consumed. That means that 85% of the water, which is withdrawal and bring, brought to the people, is coming back into the river. So now we've entered the, the big city water demand. Let's go to the agricultural water demand. So we press here on agriculture. We go to annual activity level. And of course, instead of um, the unit uh, people, we are going to the unit, which is called here area. And uh, we can express the area in hectares. And probably we've got some, some data which is saying that there is 100,000 hectares of irrigated crop there. How much is actually used by this crop? Again, if we go to annual water use rate, we get a cubic meter per hectare. And based on some estimates, we know that the amount is about 3,500 hectare per year per, per hectare. Now, normally, of course, the uh, monthly variation is there and there is a special tab here which can be clicked and there you can say the monthly variation. And again, please do remember that it's somewhat strange because you don't see the manual variation. We click here and there is the little icon coming and here you can say monthly time series wizard. So please, please, please do remember this little icon, monthly time series wizard. And we assume that we've got some data, so I will uh, fill in some data for each particular month. And after done, of course, we just press uh, finish. And with this, we've um, finished uh, entering uh, data into Weep. I will just go back to schematic. And um, we are now ready to get some results, which will be presented in another tutorial. But I would like to uh, mention already one particular thing of Weep is you think where is the run knob, but the run knob is just pressing the results button here. We will discuss that later. And with this, I really would like to thank you. Have a nice day. Hope seeing you soon in another tutorial.